we could have a contract that is valid or non-valid. If the, all of these elements are found to be in order, we would say that contract is uh, valid. And if there are deficiencies, we would say the contract is not valid. In some schools of thought, like Hanafi School of Thought, they would have a sort of third category, which would uh, make contract like voidable or on the pause of sort, where there might be some issues with the contract that need further clarification in order to make contracts valid. So we would say valid contracts, all elements of this contract are found to be in order. Voidable contract, it has all elements of the contract except non-essential attributes of the contract. So for example, some specification of the subject matter. Um, for instance, let's say color. You, you, you did a contract regarding the car and maybe you, know, you didn't specify the color or something like that. So by specifying the color and other things, we would fix the contract and it will become a valid contract. If we have some issues with the contract and contract uh, might have some sort of um, essential condition that is not present or illegal subject matter or there is, uh, there is, there is anything with regards to ownership that is not valid, the way we do offer an acceptance and so on, this would render the contract invalid. Within the contract itself, we could have a number of con conditions that become binding, and as we know that Muslims must keep to the condition they make, except for a condition that makes something prohibited lawful or something lawful prohibited. So for example, uh, let's say we have a valid contract, all the elements are in order. What are some of the conditions? First of all, uh, contract, uh, conditions with this contract must be honored as long as they do not breach the Sharia. An example of these contracts in a sale, for example, it was narrated that the Prophet ﷺ said both the buyer and the seller uh, retain the option as long as they have not separated as or they give each other the option. So what it is talking about is to cancel these, these contracts until they separated or give each other these sorts of options that we talked a little bit before. So default rule of a sale renders the sale completed when the buyer or seller departs from the location, and that's what we said before, gathering. However, they may make a condition of a few days to change their mind and get the refund. After the time has elapsed, the op option would have expired. So this is what we talked about, which is generally good, especially these days when uh, sometimes you, you, you don't know what you buy, so it's a good to protect yourself as much as possible in these contracts.